Hey everyone, Andrew with ACR Protect. Thanks for stopping by. I'm out here by the lake by my house and I was doing a I wanted to do a follow-up video on the uh, support gear for the bag I went over, my EDC slash get home bag. Uh, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna put it over over uh, the tailgate and we'll take a look at the tote with the extra support gear uh, for my bag. Stand by. All right. So we're at the back of the tailgate of my truck here. And you can see the tote over there. I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit and I'm gonna start pulling some of the stuff out so you can take a look. I apologize on that first portion. There's a, a dredge barge going by right as I was trying to do this. So uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of noise background. So my apologies there. I'm gonna move this like so. Alright, so it's just a plastic tote. And uh, getting into the stuff here, I don't know if you can kind of see it. I've got a uh, one of those roll top covers that goes over the back of my truck. I, I don't just leave stuff in the back of the truck for people to steal from me. Uh, you know, I keep all my stuff locked up back here. In fact, I think it's actually safer in the bed of the truck than in the cab. Um, you know, people look inside your car and, and bust out uh, bust out a two hundred fifty dollar window to to take uh, five dollars worth of change out of your car because some people are assholes. But all right, here we go. So some of the stuff in here <clears throat> is just stuff I keep in the truck, uh, and some of it relates more to the uh, EDC slash get home bag. But I've got a cooler bag in here, and. Uh, these things are pretty awesome. I actually got this from one of my old employers. I'm not going to flip it around uh, so that you can see that, but these things are pretty awesome. Uh, and I usually keep it stored with like some uh, uh, grocery style bags. Uh, sometimes if you go to like Costco or Aldi's, something like that, you aren't able to uh, use bags. So that's pretty handy. So a little cooler bag. All right, I discussed sleeping system. I've just got this hammock. Covid cure. Not sure if you can see that there. There we go. Um, it actually has a integrated bug screen on it. Um, it's okay. Uh, it's you got to run uh, like a ridge line just for the bug screen, and then and then it actually helps if there's a couple more tie outs to kind of keep it off you a little bit. Um, but it's you know it's better than than having mosquitoes eat you up all night. So that's that's absolutely one of the things that goes in my bag. Uh, if I'm leaving my truck. Um, some hot hands, some hand warmers. Well, then the body warmers starting to cool off. It's actually it's actually about 60 degrees out here today. It's kind of nice. Um, the sun's trying to peek through, but we are getting into some colder weather. <clears throat> oh, hey, this is really important. This is one of those uh, can cozies, uh, the insulated ones in case you, you know, you need to have an emergency uh, adult sport pop beverage. Got to have one of those, right? Getting colder weather. It's the beanie cap. Got some extra cheap masks in here. Again, you just never know. Uh, a lot of the times I just give these out, you know, uh, <clears throat> especially during early 2020, you know, when every place was, was requiring a mask and people are trying to go in there. I just kept extra cheap ones that way if someone needed it that you know just try to be a good human you know tissues keep those inside my truck just keep the extras out of here some more of that uh, emergency food bars um, again just nothing fantastic just a little extra food that I can keep in here told you I'm, I'm in Houston uh, key maps I don't know if you ever used one of these these are kind of old school um, these things are are amazing for getting around town um, you can probably find a YouTube video on key maps these things are great <clears throat> just some extra <clears throat> drinks some vitamin C some tea uh, Think there's some emergency in there just uh some extra beverages i can throw in 
some eye protection, uh, just a little extra something. Emergency range time. Fishing lures, because you never know. I think my son left those in there. Here's an extra tie-down strap. We don't know what these are. These are for. Uh, this is mainly staying in the truck. However, the other one is actually inside the cab. And if you've ever uh, set up a hammock using those, uh, it's pretty badass. They, they work really well. Um, obviously, if you're trying to be discreet, the bright damn orange is not your your best option there. But uh, if you have a hammock, sometimes try sometimes try setting it up with the uh, the ratchet straps. It's, it's pretty pretty awesome. <clears throat> I did say I kept extra water in the truck. Just a little bit, some 12 bottles. <clears throat> Again, down here in Texas, it's hot. I think that's the most important thing, having the water. Uh, you know, having ways to you know get your water uh, either through filtering or or uh, using like Silcock Key and obtaining it. But again, if you're just trying to get home, uh, I want to just have as much readily available water set to go. And so I'll break. I'll probably chug two to three of those before I start humping it, and then put the rest of them in my pack because I have the room. So extra water there. This is another it's kind of, I just keep this in the back of my truck. EDC bag uh, has a bottle of that smart water in there. Uh, it's a little pricey, but the bottles themselves are actually pretty, uh, pretty durable. And, uh, and you can screw your Sawyer mini on there. Uh, <clears throat> so you can fill it up and, and kind of have a portable way of going. I'm going to do a, a separate video on this kit. Um, just just for time reasons um but the bag itself is a it's a g for free bag it's kind of like their messenger bag it's very similar to uh some of the higher end ones <clears throat> i think it works really well um but that'll be for another video <clears throat> and then the rest of the stuff in here i've got some more tissues i've got this uh protectant that goes over the that you rub onto the correct uh, I'm all throw it off now. The protectant for the uh, top of the cover for the truck. And then I have a little seat organizer uh, that I keep in there uh, for an extra one. If we're doing some traveling, I kind of like to have the extra seat organizer behind. So when my boys are with me and they're sitting in the back, they, they have a place to put everything. So that's it. Again, it's not anything glorious or fancy or anything like that. Um, some things I do need to add into here because I... <clears throat> didn't really stage anything. This is just what I have in there now. Um, I pulled out my jumper cables because uh, I was using those to help a friend the other day. I've got to throw those back in. But I, another option uh, that I'm looking at doing is one of the jumper boxes. Um, you know, a little extra power supply, but those work pretty well if you're by yourself and you don't have anyone to jump your car. Um, and then now that the weather's cooling off, I usually throw a heavier jacket in there. Um, just you know some extra warmth but uh that's all i got for you today thanks for watching the video and take care